Hello and welcome to the first episode of our Fire On Board video series. Imagine you are on board a ship and suddenly realize that your vessel is on fire. Would you know what to do? In this case, which you will hopefully never have to experience, it is important to be well prepared. That's why we're here today to discuss the specifics of shipboard firefighting. Fires on board a ship can be particularly challenging due to the confined spaces, intense heat, and the presence of flammable materials such as fuel and cargo. As a result, it's essential that seafarers are well trained and equipped to respond to these situations. Regular training and drills are essential for preparing for emergency situations. During drills, you'll practice using the equipment and working together as a team to coordinate your response efforts. When responding to a fire on board a ship, there are a few key factors to keep in mind. First and foremost, it's important to prioritize the safety of the crew and the vessel. You'll need to quickly assess the situation and determine the best course of action. This may involve using firefighting equipment to extinguish the fire or using other tactics to isolate the fire and prevent it from spreading. One of the most significant challenges in shipboard firefighting is the limited space and the complexity of the ship's design. The presence of multiple decks, bulkheads, and compartments can make it difficult to access the source of the fire. You have a point when you object that ships are typically constructed of non-flammable materials such as steel, and the use of fire flaps and dampers can help to isolate individual compartments and prevent the spread of fire. However, the confined spaces on a ship can still pose challenges when it comes to containing and extinguishing a fire. One issue is that fires on ships can generate intense heat, and in a confined space, that heat can build up quickly, causing the fire to spread rapidly. Additionally, the presence of flammable materials such as fuel and cargo can contribute to the intensity of the fire and make it more difficult to contain. Moreover, ships are made of steel, a material that has the property to conduct heat very well. The heat generated by a fire on board can transfer quickly to other parts of the vessel by conduction via the steel structure, endangering exposures in other parts of the ship. Another challenge is that the design of the ship can create obstacles to firefighting efforts. For example, in some cases, firefighting crews may need to navigate through narrow passageways or climb ladders to reach the source of the fire. This can slow down the response time and make it more difficult to access the fire. Overall, while ships may be constructed of non-flammable materials and have systems in place to isolate individual compartments, the confined spaces and other factors present particular challenges when it comes to containing and extinguishing fires on board. As a result, shipboard firefighting requires specialized tactics and equipment, as well as highly trained personnel, to effectively manage the situation. Another significant challenge is the ship's isolation from land-based resources. Unlike onshore firefighting, shipboard firefighters must rely on the resources available on the ship, such as fire pumps, hoses, and extinguishers. When you encounter a fire ashore, the first thing you will do is to call the fire brigade who will take care of the mess. On board a ship, you cannot call the fire brigade. I mean, of course, you can call them, but they will not show up unless the ship is berthed in a harbor. While in many places ashore there is a voluntary fire brigade, on board a ship, we have an involuntary fire brigade and that is, guess who, us. Or more precisely, you as a crew member. This means that the crew must be highly trained and have a thorough understanding of the ship's firefighting systems. For example, Ships are equipped with carbon dioxide or energen systems that are designed to suppress fires in enclosed spaces. However, these systems can be dangerous to personnel and must be used with caution. Other tactical considerations in shipboard firefighting include the use of water-based systems, which can be effective in suppressing fires in open spaces. However, these systems can also cause flooding and instability, which can make the situation worse. Finally, communication and coordination are critical in shipboard firefighting. 
Crew members must be able to communicate effectively and coordinate their efforts to ensure that the fire is contained and extinguished as quickly and safely as possible. In addition to the challenges posed by the fire itself, shipboard firefighting can be physically demanding. It's important to be in good physical condition and to know your own limitations. By practicing regularly and working together as a team, you can ensure that you're prepared to respond to emergencies and protect the safety of the crew and vessel. In summary, shipboard firefighting presents unique challenges and requires specialized knowledge, tactics, and equipment. The limited space, complex design, and isolation from land-based resources all make it difficult to contain and extinguish fires on board a ship. However, with proper training, communication, and coordination, shipboard firefighters can effectively manage and extinguish fires at sea. Thank you for watching. Remember, safety should always be your top priority, and with the right training and equipment, you can effectively manage emergency situations and protect the vessel and crew. In the following videos, we will go through all important aspects of shipboard fire fighting to give you the knowledge and understanding you need to be prepared for the emergency we all hope to never experience. If you liked this video, do not forget to like and hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more exciting stuff on marine firefighting to come.